at some of Kant's crucial vocabulary, especially what does he mean by opinion, belief, conviction, persuasion, especially how does he differentiate between how does he differentiate between knowledge and faith? So this is just an initial attempt. So we will work work on what we end up today and develop in the future as well. Okay, so let's go. We will be relying basically on two things: a section on canons of reason, canon of reason in. in the first critique and also uh, an important essay called what does it mean to orient yourself in thinking and a few other secondary material but this is the basic primary material on which I will be relying on okay so Kant's basic um, category I think is in this regard in what we can call claim Sometimes it's translated as belief, but I think claim is a better. And claims are of two types. Conviction and persuasion. And the claim for Kant is claim for Kant is uh, holding something to be true. So a claim doesn't have to be explicit, it can be implicit claim. And at least part of claim is that you hold something to be true and your side is subjective side and this true side is the ob objective side and in the whole distinction we'll see these subjective and objective sides are very prominent in these uh, in the vac vocabulary we will be looking at so claim is holding uh, something to be true and can't call it in German Furwa Halt. War is um, truth. If you think something is true, that is your implicit or explicit claim. And then, as we saw, he divides claims into pers persuasion and conviction. Persuasion and conviction. So let's look at them now. So claim is divided by Kant into... Persuasion and 
and conviction. Persuasion is Überredung. And conviction is Überzeugung. So this is overriding this uh, persuasion uh, overzoigung is conviction and this is in the standard uh, Cambridge text uh, so if both are claims you must provide reason you must have reasons. for your claims but um, I think Kant thinks that if reasons are such that they are only convincing to you then this is persuasion and if there are reasons which you can communicate to others and justify your claims in front of the others then that is conviction so in that sense conviction is based on public reason public publicly defended reason on the other hand uh, persuasion is based on subjective reason although you wonder how do you differentiate between public reason and private reason except based on the general environment general uh, general uh, milieu so it will change from milieu to milieu and yeah but this is the distinction if you can justify some your claim based on public you can publicly defend your reason and justify your reasons uh, your claims based on publicly presentable reasons then that is conviction and otherwise it persuasion so according to this understanding persuasion is pretty subjective in that sense and conviction is more objective so that's why conviction is much higher uh, in epistemic uh, worth in Kant's eye than persuasion okay so then conviction becomes the central category in that sense because conviction is based on publicly publicly defendable and justifiable reasons I guess you can say that conviction is based on some sort some sort of evidence it doesn't have to be sufficient evidence to move everybody but it has to be that's that's what differentiated from mere pers persuasion and then he div divides uh, conviction into three types at least uh, according to Beiser for example so conviction is opinion knowledge and faith so all opinion knowledge and faith all are in higher categories than uh, than persuasion but uh, ultimately all these three are 
claims if conviction is a type of a claim. So that's significant. Now if knowledge, uh, all the three types are are types of uh, conviction then it means that they have all based on some sort of evidence so what differentiates these I think the basic thing which Kant says is that knowledge has insufficient because evidence as we saw has two parts your subjective uh, confidence in that evidence and your objective how you can move others in publicly that's that's how I'm reading it anyway so opinion is the lowest one, lowest one because it has insufficient subjective and objective evidence so you yourself are not that convinced so reasons move you about what you bel uh, your opinion is but not sufficiently and it, they can move others as well but not sufficiently on the uh, knowledge is opinion become knowledge when it's as sufficient subjective as well as sufficient objective evidence so knowledge is the one which moves you convinces you subjectively sufficiently as well as you can move others publicly sufficiently and faith on the other hand there's a subjective sufficient ground or evidence so it moves you sufficiently but objective grounds are not sufficient insufficient so both have subjective and objective evidence but only knowledge has one one and faith has one zero and this is both zero so this is so that's that's the that's the that's his basic distinction between faith knowledge and opinion so when he says I had to deny knowledge in order to save faith what he's talking about is type of uh, type of belief or type of uh, claims which you are su sufficiently convinced of but you don't have sufficient objective evidence even though you have objective evidence but not sufficient okay so i'll stop here that's what i think uh, good